has been under scrutiny for more than a year, embroiled in at least eight different lawsuits and living a lavish lifestyle that's drawn admiration and a lot of criticism. But in the past few months, Bishop Eddie Long's financial empire has shown signs of weakness. Channel 2 investigative reporter Jody Fleischer here with how his ongoing divorce may reveal details that have always been a secret. The main function of any divorce is to divide the family assets. In this case, attorneys for Vanessa Long will first have to determine what belongs to her husband, the bishop, and what belongs to his once thriving megachurch. We began investigating those assets more than six months ago and found quite a blurry line between his church and estate. His lifestyle is the picture of extravagance. He's owned Gulfstream jets, drives a Bentley, and lives in a million-dollar home. There's nothing wrong with anybody being wealthy. It's how have you gotten there? Senator Chuck Grassley led a congressional investigation into lavish lifestyles at six ministries, including that of Bishop Eddie Long, where members would provide cash love offerings to the bishop on top of their tithes. All your money's been done right and calculated right. Last June, Long told his congregation New Birth Missionary Baptist Church is audited every year, but refused our verbal and written requests to provide a copy. We reached out to half a dozen New Birth members and staff None said they'd seen an audit. Anytime anybody running the church doesn't want uh, the information made available to everybody that's a member of the church, that ought to raise a red flag right now. He says church boards need to closely watch salaries, cars, planes, and housing allowances so church property is accounted for properly. What we're after is to make sure is that organization that's benefiting from the tax exemption that our tax code allows charitable giving are they a good trustee of the money? Records show Bishop Long's assets have been intertwined with the churches for years. We don't know who paid the mortgage on Long's DeKalb County mansions, but his church has paid roughly $200,000 just in property taxes for him. That's on top of 85000 in taxes for his plane. And for 10 years, the church or a church-owned company paid a lease and expenses to Long to keep his planes flying until he sold them. Yes, it would raise questions. Jack Fishman spent 25 years as an IRS investigator. We showed him documents in which Long signed over a home bought by his nonprofit ministry to himself. Then he took out a new $1.6 million mortgage on it. The very next day, Long loaned Atlanta Braves and Falcons player Brian Jordan $2 million for a failed luxury development, Le Jardin. Records show Long also lost an $880,000 lot there to foreclosure. I'd question how much money he's reporting his income and where he got the funds to do that with. But without seeing Long's personal tax returns, Fishman can't tell. For months, we requested a sit-down interview, but a spokesman said Bishop Eddie Long was too busy. He took a short leave from the church after his wife filed for divorce in December. Then the church shut down its school without notice, citing financial trouble. It reopened this year. Long still has thousands of believers. Whatever God said about me, it shall come to pass. With his divorce looming, Eddie Long is sure to face tough questions about his assets. Coming up at 6, we'll dig deeper into how he came to own those houses and planes, and you'll see what happened when we tried to ask him about his finances.